Well, certainly a somber end to the Christmas break. You remember that uh, 1979 Fender Baseman? That's 70, Fender Baseman 70. Well, it's Mission Abort. Uh, the owner is reprioritizing his needs for the uh, for the new year, and that's totally cool. That happens, but I'm not gonna say goodbye so easily. I have to leave things better than the way I found them, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna give this a light clean before I uh, reinstall the chassis and carry on. And that's it. And I hope you guys had a great Christmas break and that you spent some real quality time with your families. You guys have a <clears throat> have a nice plan for your business and family to, to push things forward in the new year. That's what I'm hoping anyway. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to do. It's been some incredibly late nights here. Um, no sleep. Um, you probably noticed the tempo and rhythm of the last set of videos that there's been a bit of a slowdown in my energy level. It's just, man, no sleep. The holidays are brutal, especially, you know, not, not to get morose or, you know, take things in a dark direction, but it's my first holiday without my dad. And that's weighing, that's weighing pretty heavily on me. Right, there have um, there've been some really big milestones in, in my life as a dad. Like, um, I finally got my two boys off of training wheels on their bikes. And the first thing you think is, man, I can't wait to tell my dad. And now it, that turns into, man, I hope he can see this, you know, or I hope he knows wherever he may be. I hope he knows because he would just get a kick out of it. Just getting them on their bikes was the hardest thing I've, I've done yet. It's insane. I, I, I literally felt like I was failing as a father. It's not even a joke. Now, that's up there with like teaching them how to tie a shoe. <laughs> you know? That's what that is. I'm incredibly happy. It just makes me so happy. I'm just going to eke that down here so I don't get any liquid on the grill cloth. I have ways... Looks like this is turning into something a little more intense than I was anticipating. I guess that's okay, huh? That's okay. I'll be right back. All right, so none of this is gonna destroy any patina. Let's just get that out there. This is just gonna make this thing Look like it was kept indoors. If that makes sense. It wasn't in a garage. It was maybe it was in the closet. You know, and that's the that's the look that I go for with these. If I see it, I have to do it. I just can't let her go back like this. So this has to come off. I, I just have to do this. I can't send an amp back in the same condition it was sent to me. And it wasn't in bad shape. I, I just, I need to leave a mark. 
I need to do something positive. So this customer um, is basically gonna trade this, this service for uh, a Music Man RD100 that I believe he, he has lined up. So, so he's gonna get this one back and then he's gonna hand me off a Music Man. And I like working on the Music Man apps. Very interesting hybrid design that I find fun to work on. I like it a lot. I really do. Oh, this came out nice. Yeah, I like working on the Music Man apps. They're just, um, they're, they sound great. Um, I, I like the innovation. I like where, where Leo's head was. When um, the CBS Fender was still trying to find its way, Leo was still moving forward. Super cool. Super cool. So I'm not going to steam the grill cloth or do any of that stuff because it, it has a nice color. And, and with, and this is plywood, but with some of the ladder model silver faces, you're dealing with like chipboard. So you don't want to expose that to any sort of heat and moisture simultaneously or at all really. You just want to, you want to keep it climate controlled. What you want to do. Nice. Just like things to be better than they were so that somebody knows that I touched something, that it was done the right way. And I know that I'm going to respect their gear and their wishes. I mean, he didn't ask me to do this. I just, I have to. It's just part of who I am and what I got to do. <sighs> Maybe a bit of a sickness. <laughs> now that I think about it. Maybe thinking about it's not a good idea. But yeah, not really the first day in a shop. This is um, more of a reassembly and pickup day for the customers to come around. So I have the Black Star going out. I don't have time for a sound sample, unfortunately. So there's no audio for that. Sorry, guys. And then this one, um, we'll see it another day. We'll see it another day. I have a good feeling. And again, when you guys are reinstalling these, don't put any downward pressure or you will unseat the little fastener on the other end. There we go. Wow, this looks really nice. And I'll just do the inside there. I already caught the sides for the most part. Um, I can't disassemble it down um, any further on the sides because the, the vents or uh, plastic and have cracked a bit. And I'm certainly not going to go any more aggressive chemical, um, chemically speaking, with this cleaning, even though I do feel a little bit of tack from some nicotine uh, exposure. That's okay. Um, it's it, it looks really nice. It's starting to, uh, the, the chemical's starting to flash off and there's a very even textured finish being left behind on the surface, so that makes me happy. I don't have any Tolex repair to do here. Um, not that I would get into that um, at this level. I know a lot of people are screaming, dude, it's a business. You need to make money. And yeah, I do. But I just have some pretty strong internal drives that I have to cope with on a daily basis. So. 
There's that. Awesome. So the head shell's done. I'll make a quick pass on the rear panel. And this has like the typical relatively uh, flexible silver face MDF construction. You can see that it's, it's bowed through either heat or installation. And I don't need a toothbrush on this because it's just cleaning it nicely. Just want it to be nice. I just want my world to be orderly and peaceful, you know? I like to take chaos and, and bring it in to order. That's, and maybe that's what this whole thing is. Maybe I had a shitty childhood. Who knows? So let's get that chassis set up for a reinstallation. All right, and we're back. Sad to see her go. What are you gonna do? Nothing. All right, but I had fun. I had fun shooting the video. It was a good time. Awesome. I want to make sure the face plate is even across the front panel so there's not a big gap. Because that makes me nuts. There we go. Now I can tighten it all down. Let's see how I'm going to approach this one. trick. If not, I'll have to get a socket on it. It's massive transformer to reach around. All right. Where was I? So that's it. I'll just do a, I'll probably do a quick sweep over as a final farewell, or at least a so long, or see you later. And then we'll move on with life. All right, so this is Bye. it. We're gonna see you later, buddy. Nicely cleaned up. Ready to play another day.